Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is fourth video for hotel management system in Laravel. And in this video, we will configure the admin template. Okay, we will see that what we are going to do in this video, we will mainly perform these three tasks. Okay, so the first task is we will configure the admin template as I have told you. The, and the second task is we will create the base template and uh, we will see how we can create in the blade template engine which default comes with laravel and the last and the third task is we will extend that template okay and with extending we will also create this dashboard and we will see how we can attach the js how we can attach the images css and all the assets okay so we are going to do these tasks in this video so let's start to do this the first thing is to configure the admin template with laravel okay so i have already downloaded this template okay and now what i will do i will go to the project so here it is project in the st docs laravel apps and hotel manage okay and here we have resources and views here i will create uh, let's open the folder of uh, app also folder the admin template so this is the admin template that i'm going to use and i will copy this blank page here and name it name it any any template that you are using it must be blade.php okay so i will use i will say a uh, dashboard dot blade dot php how we will use how we will load this in the browser okay so how we will load this this is the home page but we need this we need to load the admin template with the with this url okay with admin url so how we can do, do that so i will go to the hotel manage project and i will go to the routes i will go to the web.php okay here we are so now it is loading the home page with the help of this function okay so now similarly we will load the admin so i will say admin dashboard okay and we will load this via admin url and here we will add let's say dashboard only dashboard and we don't need to add the dot blade dot php just it will recognize that laravel will oh, this view function in laravel will recognize that but that what we want to load okay okay so now <clears throat> uh, we need to go to the admin and when we click on this so it is saying that let's go to the let's go to resources let's go to views let's go to dashboard.template dashboard.blade.template and here i will open this okay and this will be loading dashboard and we are loading this on uh, this admin okay but it is saying that i will refresh this page and it is saying that view view not found layout uh, something dashboard so something is wrong dashboard this is fine and this is home and this is a dashboard so name is name is all right let's recheck the name dashboard dot blade dot php so there is no error in name okay we will see that why it is showing the error uh, it is admin dashboard and we are loading this is very simple that we are loading this dashboard dot blade dot php let's say hello and let's check this out okay this is fine but why it is not loading because something is different okay no issues first of all first of all we will do uh, we will do we will load the this font awesome and all win.css so what i will do i will copy css images js and vendor we will not copy as css okay so in the in the public folder i will copy this i will paste this sorry okay while it is pasting let's see how we can load so we can load asset and 
if you have removed the public from the url then you have to mention it here and after that we will add slash okay and this is loading the font so i will keep at it as it is and now go to the bottom and here we will load okay now let's refresh the page so here you can see that okay there is something error in the template i don't understand that why it, it was saying the that layout is not something error or whatever it, it was saying but now it is loading okay and the blank page the blank page is loading now and it is perfectly loading okay so our two task has been completed we have com configured the admin template okay how we can how we have configured that we have uh, call the admin template on this route okay and then we have uh, now we need to create the base template and then we will extend the template actually we have completed only one task so let's create the base template so i will say layout dot html oh uh, sorry blade dot php so why we are uh, why we are creating the base template because this head this sidebar and this header will be same and the only thing will change this content okay so we will create the common template or you can say the base template then we will extend that and put the dynamic content in that okay so that we are creating the base template so i will i will copy the dashboard in the layout and i will just remove the i will just remove the this content and move this here okay because this is the main dashboard content that we are going to use and in the layout so how the layout will know that what uh, what uh, what things to be loaded in this template so i will add yield this fun this blade this blade tag will recognize that so this will be content the first thing is this and the second step is we are extending the dashboard template we are extending the actually layout template and making the dashboard template so this will be extends and here we will name that uh, that we are extending and after that we are putting the content so this is the content and this is end section okay refresh the page so it is same it means now we are extending the template okay so we have uh, we have covered this uh, we have covered actually both things okay but let's create the actual dashboard page like this okay so we just need to copy this dashboard page into this and we will load the assets so i will go to the i will open the index.html file and i will go to the container fluid and i'll copy this all thing copy this and paste it here okay but it needs it needs some extra resources because we are loading the chart also okay so we need some extra resources so in the index.html file what i will do in the template they have defined that this is be page level settings so i will copy this and put in the specific template okay and similarly we will define the assets like we have defined in the layout so copy this and paste it here okay so these are the things now let's open the template and refresh this so we have you can see that we have exactly the same layout exactly the same dashboard but we just uh, but we just uh, loaded uh, configured with this laravel okay and here is the image so we need to load this image so i will search image source and that is something this i will paste it here okay and uh, so paste it here to refresh the page and again it is not loading let's say image assets public image so we have assets image and in the image we have svg and something so refresh it let's see why it is not loading so this is svg and we need to go to the actually layout but we are 
putting it in the dashboard but we need to put in the layout okay fine uh, where it is yeah so now we have perfectly configured all the things so in this section i just want to show you how we can configure the admin template and how we can extend the template in the next video in the next video we will we will create the we will create the room category and uh, in that category we will create the rooms we will create it means we will create the model controller we will actually we will start working in the next video with the model controller and routes and all the things we will see that uh, how we can uh, relate the models with the room category and rooms and all the things okay we will see in the next video okay so i hope you have learned uh, you have uh, enjoyed this video you have learned that how we can extend and create the template in uh, laravel this is just uh, uh, this is just for beginners and this is just very simple things but we should know this okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much please share subscribe like this channel and share this video okay and uh, support me thank you thank you so much